Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to model slabs and foundations in the RAM Structural System RAM Modeler. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to model slabs and foundations in the RAM Modeler, which will include the process of modeling slab edges and openings, defining your slabs and decks, and then assigning them to the model. You will also learn how to model spread, continuous, and pile cap foundation systems. In this video, we will show you how to assign slabs and decks to sloped framing areas. For these types of geometric configurations, it's very important to provide a separate slab or deck polygon in areas that are sloped in different directions. We are now ready to assign decks to our roof layout. So in our layout pull down menu, we will select the roof layout, and we'll notice that this level consists entirely of steel beams and columns. Before we assign any decks to this area, let's go ahead and review our structural geometry. And we can do that by clicking on our 3D view icon. Now by looking at the 3D view, we'll notice that the column heights for the central columns are different than the perimeter columns, which has created this sloped plan. Now what's very important in RAM structural system is that when assigning slabs and decks to sloped areas, it's very important to provide a separate deck or slab polygon for each area that is sloped in different directions. So for this particular layout, we're going to need at a minimum three separate polygons for each sloped or flat area to define them separately. Now to return to my modeler, I'm going to go ahead and select File, Exit, and now I'm ready to start thinking about assigning some slabs or decks to this plan. One thing I want to do first though is that I want to make sure that these new slab assignments go out to the edge of slab, which is actually for this model located one foot outside the edge of beam or column lines. So what I want to do to be able to define these different polygons, it would really help a lot if I had an additional snap point that coordinated with that edge of slab outside where each of those polygons are going to change. So that would be adjacent to grid intersection C2, G2, C4, and G4. To do that, I can simply use my construction grid command to create some snap points that will make it easier for me to assign these slabs. To assign a construction grid, I'm going to go out to my layout toolbar and select my construction grid icon. Now construction grids are used just for modeling purposes, so they're used to get you some additional snap points in your model to make modeling of results easier. I'm going to go ahead and select the parallel to grid option and I'm going to enter a distance of one foot, again that coordinates with my edge of slab dimension. Then I'm going to go ahead and click add and I'm going to click on grid line C and then I'm going to click to the left of grid line C to create a construction grid that coordinates exactly with that edge of slab dimension. I'm then going to create a construction grid along grid line G and then I'm going to click to the right hand side of that grid line again coordinating with my edge of slab dimension. I would also like a construction grid that coordinates with grid line 4 and grid line 2. So I'm going to right click to return to the previous dialog. I'm going to enter a distance of 0 and then I'm going to go ahead and just click add and then I'd click along grid line 4 and along grid line 2. Now what I have is I have a grid intersection that coordinates exactly with this edge of slab here and along this column line. So I'm able to very quickly assign different slabs for each area, for the two sloping areas and the flat area in the middle. When I'm ready to assign decks and slabs to my model, I'm going to return to my layout slab toolbar and click on my deck assign icon. For this particular level, I've modeled all of my steel beams as non-composite, so I'm going to select a non-composite floor system and I'm going to select the roof deck system that we had previously defined in the property table. Now the first area I'm going to model is this flat area between grid lines 2 and 4. 
So I'm going to select an orientation of an angle of 90 degrees and then again I'm going to start my modeling by using the whole floor button. Now if I wanted to take a look at why it was important to model different planes in different areas, I can return to my 3D view and I would see that of course even if the orientation for these particular areas that are sloping were the same as this flat area, it would still be necessary to define a different slab polygon for each of these sloping areas. So I'm going to go ahead and say File, Exit and now let's define the slab systems for these sloping areas. I'm going to right click to return back to the deck assignment mode dialog and I'm going to change my orientation angle to zero degrees and then I'm going to click add. Now for this particular level since it is sloped I'm going to make sure that instead of just selecting my column line locations I'm going to go out to my slab edge. So here I can see that RAM structural system has given me a snap point that coordinates with each slab edge corner. So I'm going to click outside of grid intersection G5 that coordinates with the slab edge. I'm going to go out to outside of the column on grid intersection C1. And then I'm going to click down here. Now because I created those construction grids first, I do have a snap point that coordinates exactly with that edge of slab outside grid intersection C4. I'm going to go ahead and click there and then I'm going to click back again and then I'm going to close my polygon. And here I can see that I've created a new deck system. I'm going to do the same thing for this sloping area between grid intersections 1 and 2. Again making sure that I select the edge of slab snap points. Once you have completed your deck assignments, I can return to my 3D view. And I can see here that because I created separate polygons in each area, RAM structural system was able to correctly model the roof system. Now after you assign all of your slabs and decks to the model, it is possible to change your deck polygon after it was originally laid out on plan, say if one of your column lines moves or a slab edge moves. In order to do that, I can just right click to return back to my deck assignment mode dialog and I have here a button to change my deck polygon. I can go ahead and click on this button and then select any slab here and here I can see that basically the vertices are indicated and if I just click on one I can move it to its new location. I can also create new vertices by clicking somewhere towards the center of each side of the polygon and then I can also drag this one as needed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.